Solid Pipe Designer Instructional Video Series Sloped Waste Piping Example Using Route Lines In this video, a simple 2D layout diagram will be used to develop the route lines needed to create a portion of, the, of a 3D model for a simple sloped waste piping system. We'll start by drawing a vertical route line, raising 4 feet to a branch connection point and continuing above the connection point to a vertical offset. A new route line is then created, starting at the branch connection point on the first route line. Once the route line is started, a slope of one quarter inch per foot is applied and the appropriate points on the diagram are selected. The route line ends with a short vertical line segment. The next route line branches, once again at a slope of quarter inch per foot. The points are selected from the diagram as before, and the route line ends with a short vertical line segment. This process is repeated for a route line representing the upstream branch as well. The final route line consists of a vertical line segment representing the vent of a fixture trap. With all the route lines completed, it is time to populate them with pipe and fittings. The Auto Route Components command is started and each of the route lines is selected. The pipe type is selected and fittings are then selected at each branch connection and change in direction. A square with diagonal lines indicates the location assigned to the next fitting selected. The fittings available for selection are taken from the current specification. Only those fittings matching the size and configuration criteria are listed. After all the fittings have been selected, the route lines are populated. A layer is turned on to indicate a change required in the piping system. In this case, a branch at 45 degrees to the main terminates with a vent and P-trap. A new branch route line and associated vent route line are created using the same procedures as before. The branch pipe size is set to 2 inch and a reducing Y fitting is then placed at the branch connection. The fitting cuts into the pipe and couplings are added. The fitting is also rotated to match the branch route line. The main size is changed to reflect the size of the pipe for the largest route line being selected. The appropriate size fittings are then selected and the route lines are populated. The layers for the 2D diagram and route lines are turned off, leaving the finished piping configuration.